Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. We're back with this beautiful game once again. I gotta say, I've been playing this game non-stop for the past couple of days, but I'm just having a lot of fun, so. We're gonna make our way over to Nigel West Dickens once again. I already started making my way over here to save us a little bit of time. So we can get back into the action. Plain view. Oh, here we are. Whoa, there. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. <laughs> Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Oh. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, <laughs> sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you. But, sir... Before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> this guy. He's just not right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mingle with the crowd until the show starts. He's got us going along with another one of his cons. He's straight up out here scamming these people. And we're just going along with it. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? Friends, hard-working souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Oh snap! They're shooting at me! Wait, 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 wait! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm going to die! Because I've gone along with this stupid guy's plans! And now I'm killing these people! Who are only trying to stop this guy! What gives you that impression? Oh my goodness, dude. For Christ's sakes, John, get on the damn wagon! All right! St. Homobonus has not been looking down on me favorably. Who? Homobonus, the patron saint of businessmen. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. No! Poppycock! Those increase were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pants. Oh crap. We got some more company. Drawing and firing your weapon from shotgun is no different than doing it so on foot or horseback. Look at this guy. He's not even phased. <laughs> Good shot. 
Yeah, good shot. How many all that? Sure is lucky you came along when you did. Yeah. Lucky for who? <laughs> lucky for you. Not lucky for me. I'm out here getting shot at. Well, it looks like the global expansion of your West Dickens elixir might have come to drop. The stand from the science is rocky road. Oh wow. They just keep on coming. Ooh. I don't know. I'd say they're pretty astute. I don't want to shoot the horse. Why are you stopping? Why is he stopping? Oh crap! Oh, this is bad. We're getting pushed from both sides. Damn it, dude. What have you done? That was a TNT. Oh my goodness. The road looks clear. Let's push out to Cueva Seca. For a man of the people, this sure ain't very popular. <laughs> I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Taylor, I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. Really? Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. Whoa, How can keep on the road. Harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. <laughs> Hold on! In base! I hope you got money for a funeral! Uh-huh. I hope you got money for a funeral. How far is this journey? And how many people have you scammed? This is the longest journey ever. I guess we're just gonna keep coming until we arrive. Respect science! <laughs> Respect science. This is not science, sir. This is just a scam. My god, Calm down. We made it, John. Thank now goodness. Let's play the up ahead. Cuba Saka. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. Yes, I did. And don't you forget it. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Hmm. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> All right. I guess we won't be seeing him for a while. Oh. Or we will. Regain fame and some money.
he's probably gonna get us racing now again. Let's uh, go check it out while we're here. Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. <gasps> Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> wow. Let's this go, guy. my boy. I'll show you the way. We are full of crazy adventures. Oh, you go oh, okay. I'm going to follow you. All right, I thought this guy was going without me. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. <laughs> Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. Mm -hmm. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Find you. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Alright. I don't believe ya. So I'm just not out here scamming more people. There's Rathskeller Park up ahead. Okay. Yeah, this guy's took us on some crazy adventures, huh? Mentioned it before and I'll say it again. We got some interesting characters in this game, that is for sure. We made it. I want to put the start position. So we're doing another race. I kind of like the races. You know? Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get your sails ready. Get your sails ready. Oh! Whoa! Why does my horse always end up Come on. starting off slow? What the hell was that all about? Did the gunshot scare it? Well, this is an unfair advantage they have. And to keep on the roads to allow for maximum speed. Okay. I already knew that. No you, you got no chance. Come on. Give it some. Good guy. Yeah. 
Wait. It looked like some of them were going a different way then. They're gaining on us. Let's go. The sun is setting. How many races there are? They're kind of fun. Let's go. It'll change your pace. Oh gosh! They are gaining on us drastically now. Oh, my horse's stamina! Come on! Come on. I've had the lead all this time. I'm not about to lose it. Come on now! In second place and third are right on me. They're pretty quick. I can hear them behind me. It's stressing me out. Come on, where's that finish line? I see it. Final stretch. Oh snap, no! No! No, 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 no! Oh my, I almost messed up there. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Hmm. You can join in on games of horseshoe. I've got a stranger over here. Let me see what this is about real quick. Blackjack games can now be entered. Oh, wow. Oh. You okay, sir? Hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they <laughs> took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, we'll help a fellow out. What is that on the map? What is a skull symbol? Huh. I have no idea. Alright, so we are quite vacant property. Vacant property. This who are you to judge? This is the guy's mission here. Let me just quickly help him out. He seems pretty devastated, right? We can't have that. Let's quickly help him out real quick. We're not too far away. Oh. 
I can hear gunshots. Shooting. I can't see anyone. Come on, easy up there. Oh, down there. Oh, oh, quick. Quick before the action's over. Let's go. Oh, I can't get down from here. Come on. Oh, the shooting stopped. Am I too late? Oh, I'm too late. Come on. Where are they at? That's right. Go to the treasure hunter. Is everything okay over here, sir? Thank you for saving me. I have a treasure map for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll happily take this off your hand, my friend. Right. Good day, sir. It ain't me, it's someone else. If it ain't me, it's somebody else. Now ain't that the truth? Check treasure hunter in the challenge challenge section. Okay. Right, um got a little sidetrack there. Let's get back to the the mission. Oh, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Let's go. Let's go. Right, so somewhere in this area. Ah, here we go. I'm guessing it's... X marks the spot. Where did that go? Oh, there's a horse. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. How did you know? Yeah, such a sweet sugar. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Hmm. Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. This is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. Oh, the horse. You dumb fool. Uh, Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. Lead Lucy and the woman back to Wraith Skeller Fork. Okay. Uh, do I... I need to show the way, huh? Okay. We're back over this way, ma'am. Try and keep up now. I'm not gonna wait around. Hope you know that. I'm a pretty impatient man. I like to get things done. And be on with the road. You're riding too fast for the woman to keep up. Oh, if you're separated, she will meet you. She will meet with you. You see at the entrance. Oh, okay. Whoa there. Well, she needs to keep up, you know. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, Mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. <laughs> Mercy mission. So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? Yes, I'm just I like am. You, a real sweetheart. <laughs> okay, now. Behave yourself. Hey. Hey, partner. Oh, watch, 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 watch the dog. Do not squish him. Right here we go. 
see what this guy has to say. Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm mm. so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Oh. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in this. <laughs> I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> wow, that is quite disturbing. Is it? We got some mana for that though, so. Even though it was creepy, I'm glad we could help him out. Mana! Okay, he, he's happy. That's all that matters, right? Now that we've got all the madness out the way, let's go and meet up with Irish. Oh. Follow the strangers to save his wife. Okay. Apparently I'm full of good deeds today, so let's keep at it, huh? These guys do seem to appreciate you helping them out. It's always nice to do good things for people, right? Oh, we just shoot. Okay. We're just gonna come up in here and shoot. That is a cacti. Oh, we spooked the horse. Oh! <gasps> They hung her! Oh, snap! Wait, can I...? The victim has died? Was that my doing? I tried to save her! Did I kill her by shooting the rope? I hope not. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Oh wow, this guy's grieving and we're out here looting the bodies. Okay, that is just shameful. That is a shameful thing, Mr. Marston. I'm so sorry there, sir. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, that is... Okay, we're gonna leave now. Oh, the poor horse. I'm so sorry again, sir. I don't know if I accidentally killed her by shooting the rope. I hope not. Because I was trying to help save his wife. Armadillo. One thing I want to do real quick, actually. I feel like we do come to Armadillo quite often. I'm going to see how much it is to purchase this property here. We gotta head up. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Right, here we are. How much is this? Oh, $50. Not bad. We can afford that. Look at us. We can more than afford that. I'm gonna... Is this my bed? Change outfits. Is this not my bed? Where's my bed? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Let me open the container here. Some revolver ammo. Can I... Ah, oh, save game. There we go. Why didn't it come up the first time? Alright. It's a brand new day. Hang on. Let's just, uh... Oh! Just... <laughs> Let's skip all the nonsense, shall we? Alright, it's a brand new day again. I like this game in the day. It's so pretty. Don't get me wrong, it looks good at night, but... The daytime just hits different, you know? Let's go meet up with Irish. Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard, you thieving Nick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh, all wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. 
When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. <laughs> Look here, this patty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. Well, I never stole nothing, sir. Never did, not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? Oh? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. Oh. <laughs> and you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. So your mom was too busy putting oh. on her back to teach you men. Well, I did warn you. I didn't want to have to get bloody, but yeah, he was getting on my nerves, boy. -o. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life, oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates, uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All right, we're getting a machine gun. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. Wait a minute, I wanted to loot the bodies. Oh. I guess, oh, there we go. Okay, these people are very impatient. I need to get the money back, you know, and the Come ammo. Alright. The company Irish. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. <laughs> we all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? <laughs> Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit so he should know. The kind wow. of fellas who are stealing acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. Wow. You must not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bad slugs who think they're snakes. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Hmm. Okay. Search the cabin for the machine gun. I don't know if I trust this guy now. Someone who says, trust me, means you shouldn't. I don't trust anybody who says that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Move along. I'm sorry, but I'm out here and I'm coming to get your stuff. Put me on cover. Take out the bandits. Where they gone? Ow! You're dead, boy! I ain't the one who's gonna be dead. Search the cabin for the machine Sorry gun. About this, Sorry about this, partner. I need to get some money. And some ammo. Hope you don't mind. Why is everybody always aggressive in this game? It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Oh. Well, we got played. Oh. All right.
Moana went up. I'm surprised about that one. Oh, look at this. This is a pretty nice house, so Look at that for a view. Well, I'll be damned. Shame we can't buy this. Well, we just came in here and killed all these people. For nothing. So we've got another mission popped up for this guy. I kind of want to go and meet up with him. See what he has to say for himself after lying to us. He is a little trek away though, so... I'll probably just skip to when we are over there. Oh! <laughs> guy just got thrown off his horse. Okay. Be careful, sir. Alright, we have made it. Benedict Point. There are old edition newspapers for sale that can that you can purchase. Howdy there, partner. Who do you want? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Mm -hmm. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, Dad. We'll find your precious gun. Hopefully no more tricks, though. I don't appreciate him keep lying. Company Irish. Yeah. I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right this raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I <laughs> saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. <laughs> Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Wow. Damn it! Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land.
The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. Hmm. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. All right, there, fellas. This is private property. Oh yeah, you can use dead eye to take out multiple targets quickly. Enter dead eye, then sweep the crosshair over these two guards. I forgot how to. I forgot how to do that. How do I do that? Uh, Intruder, take cover! Okay, I forgot how to do that. How? Oh, you gotta aim and then press the button. That's why. Okay. Silly me. We've gotta find a way into the mine. Excuse me, horsey. We find a way into the mine here. Oh, for this guy isn't. We need to move straight again. I can see you. I love the action music. Guess we're real hyped. There's a big old camp, huh? Where did he come from? That's for me to know and for you to know. We're moving up on these boys. Oh crap, oh crap, get off. Mr. Marston. Hopefully these crates don't break, oh gosh. You're gonna have to learn. You're gonna have to learn jack all. Is that it? Are you boys finished? All right. Let's see. But I've had a very action packed episode so far. Alright, found the mine. Of course, we have some more enemies. Gonna watch out for those. Ow. Ooh! We got him. I ain't gonna go easy on ya. Neither am I. Ooh. TNT. Ooh! Told ya. I wasn't gonna go easy. How is somebody still alive from that? Hello? Oh. Oof. I can just hear people shooting, shouting abuse at me. Left foot. Core. Well, we ain't going that way, that's for sure. Left cork it is. Oh my. I'm sorry they fell. I need to stop. The accent is so bad. It's just too fun. I can't help it. I need it more than you now. Ah! Oh, he's a big boy. Come on, man. Eh? I'm just out here blowing everything up. Don't mind me. I didn't get this guy? I didn't get this guy. Okay. He must be like Superman or something. Got some more TNT here. Watch out for that. Oof. 
Wow, I shot that guy twice. This is where it ends, buddy. This is where it ends, buddy. Gosh, there's so many TNT. I'm paranoid. I'll blow myself up. I can't go that way. Just keep on following it around. Oh yeah? So do I. Did I just shoot his hand? You're just about dead. Too. Oh yeah? How's that for burning? Wait, there's there's people down there. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of smack talk from you guys. Why don't you come and do something? Yeah, that'll get you screaming. What do you mean, what am I waiting for? I'm coming. This mine's a big place. Excuse me, partner. Did he just say, hey, get him fresh? Go, it's his game. I can hear somebody. Do you wanna die? Do you wanna die? Oh. I'm gonna cut you so clean. Oh really? I would love to see that. I would just pay oh, to see that. Alright, we got them all. Inspect the minecart. Oh god, look at all this stuff I'm getting. Discover issue. Grab onto the minecart. Stand behind the minecart and press triangle. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me just... Okay, that'll do. We've got enough ammo and money off these dudes. Let's get moving. Which way are we going to take it? Okay. Hold L2 to draw and aim your weapon. Only sidearms can be used while pushing. When you're pushing the minecart and you gain enough speed, you will automatically jump on. Okay. Does that mean I'm going to get attacked? It's telling me I can aim. Also, how do I get faster? How do I speed up? Oh, we got a body. Body on the track. Oh, now we're speeding, okay. Alright. Looks like we made it. He's there. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down there. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. Oh, grab onto the minecart. Wait. Oh, okay. Push the minecart to the bottom of the hill. We got company, boys. This has been a real fun mission. Oh, we got TNT. That could be bad. Oof! For him. Woohoo! That looks real fun. What did I tell you? Piece of cake! Ugh! 
Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. All right, so we got ourselves a machine gun. Two hundred and fifty fame, fame Buckaroo. You are now somewhat known around the frontier. It now costs you significantly less to convince officers of the law to turn a blind eye. Well, isn't that good to know? Well, I'll have you know, I'm an upright citizen. I don't need to ask the officers to turn a blind eye. What are you talking about? I'm gonna quickly search up that camp, and I think we're gonna call that a day. I've had a lot of fun with this one. There's been some good missions today. Like we are getting more into the story a little bit more. Meeting some great characters along the way. Look at our money as well, wow. We finally purchased our first property as well. And with this money that we got building up right here, we could probably carry on with purchasing some more. But uh, guys, we're going to wrap this one up here. Like I said, I've had a lot of fun with this episode. So if you have enjoyed it as well, be sure to hit that like button below. Also subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. And hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one.